please listen carefully. Today, I just have a couple of thoughts that I have been, well, thinking about the way our society works and the way our government and, and economy and everything all kind of work together. So I thought I'd just extemporate a little bit about them. So as we're all pretty much aware, uh, the big banks and Wall Street are pretty much responsible for ruining the economy. And they're really the only ones who have made any kind of comeback, uh, as it were, in the years following that. And, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist per se, but it kind of seems like maybe it was engineered that way. But that's all beside the point. My thought is, you know, when the SEC uh, tries to go after these guys for, for criminal wrongdoing that they pretty obviously have done, rather than getting a guilty charge and getting them to admit any wrongdoing, uh, the SEC just slaps them with a fine. I mean, granted, they're fairly substantial fines, like billions and billions of dollars, but it's not really stopping the practice. In fact, it's almost just becoming a cost of doing business kind of thing, a, uh, a criminal activity fee. And of course, they always, uh, when we bailed them out and, and all of these things, they say, we're too big to fail. We're too big to fail. We have to bail them out. We have to, to not dissolve them because their failure would result in an economic catastrophe. But if all of their power and money and everything revolves around, you know, future speculations and, and, and made up numbers, why not just start over? You know, they pretty much have all of the money, all of this super inflated money that actually has no real bearing on any tangible commodities. No, it's just what the reserve says it stands for. So why not just start over? They're the ones who have it. We don't have any of it or very little of it. So why not just call it null and void? Just, you know, take it away and, and, and start over with a new, a new currency. Uh, you know, something that actually stands for something. I, I don't, I'm not an economist, uh, but, but I don't know what I, why that would not work. I, I, I don't. So that is all of my rambling for today. Uh, Corey, I will hear from you on Thursday and I will be back on Friday, which is my 50th vlog. I can't believe I've done 50 of these things. Uh, and will be our overall 99th. Uh, and then on Monday, Corey, you will have the 100th vlog. Uh, I'll talk more about it on Friday.